Genes do not control themselves. That is a fact. Genes are controlled by the environment, and then here comes the most important part. Between the environment and our cells is the mind. It's in between. So the cells don't see the real environment. The cells see only what the mind sees. So two people could be standing in the same place, one going, ah, that's a scary world. And the other one right next to them going, it's a beautiful world. The cells in each one have different information. The one who is afraid has stress chemicals in the blood. The one who sees the world as beautiful has healthy love chemicals in the blood. So the point is this, it's the chemistry of the blood that determines the genetics and the behavior. So we have been blaming disease on genes when maybe less than 1% of disease is connected to genes, at least 10% or less. The rest, lifestyle, perception, belief, how you respond to the world, how the mind interprets the world is controlling your genes. If genes controlled you, you're a victim. You, don't, you didn't pick the genes, you can't change them, and they're supposed to turn on and off you, by themselves. You, but the new science says, no, wait, you control the genes. How you see the world, what stress you're under, how you perceive the world, you change your genetics. So, old story, you're a victim. The new story, epigenetics, you're a master.